Utilising the biomechanical concepts mentioned in the lesson sequencing, the movement skill of a cartwheel can be analysed in each phase to recognise how the execution of these concepts can positively or negatively affect performance. In phase one, the standing position preparation phase, the amateur's base of support is narrow as the feet are not wide enough, which may cause an initial unbalance. The centre of gravity is not heightened, which isn't ready to initiate the torque required for the efficient momentum to occur. The line of gravity is in the incorrect position to initiate, also to initiate the effective torque and motion required. Force is distributed evenly throughout the base of support, causing an ineffective transfer of motion to happen. In phase two, the lunge, the amateur's base of support is narrow from the beginning phase, therefore imbalance occurs as knee flexion goes past the toes. The center of gravity is too low to the ground and not initiating enough torque required for the rotation. The line of gravity is well over the base of support, causing imbalance to occur, and the force is produced by the body rather than the feet and the arms feet and the arms causing ineffective rotation. In phase three, the hand to floor contact, the amateur's base of support is not wide enough to take the force and unbalance occurs. The center of gravity and line of gravity is out of the base of support, so unbalance occurs as well. The elbows are overflex attempting to absorb the force, and this is insufficient. In phase four, the follow through phase, the amateur unbalances due to inadequate torque and angular momentum required to adequately complete the cartwheel movement. In phase one, the professional's base of support is wide as feet are staggered in a position in balance. Their center of gravity is heightened as hands are above the head and stretched out, ready to produce more torque by increasing the lever arm. The line of gravity is directly above the base of support, initiating effective balance, and the force applied is more to the back leg to increase its potential to initiate the motion required to begin movement. In phase two, the professional's base of support is wider than originally, allowing the front knee to slightly flex and endure the force. The center of gravity and line of gravity moves forward in a timely motion with all parts of the body and mass evenly distributed accordingly. The force is transferred from the back leg to the front leg, initiating enough force required to initiate the movement of general motion. In phase three, the professional's base of support is wide as there is an entire palm and finger contact to the floor with shoulders stacked vertically above the base of support. Balance occurs as mass is evenly distributed throughout the center of gravity and line of gravity. The force is observed efficiently through the hands and shoulders as elbows are extended and only slightly flexed. In the follow through phase, the professional is symmetrical to the beginning phase following the rule of general motion. Each segment of the body moves in the same motion at the same direction and in the same angle. Force is transferred from, one hand, from the hand to feet effectively and a complete, competent and perfect cartwheel is performed.